Hey guys, what's up, Aragorn here, and welcome to The One Show, the show where we show you one idea, and one partner, and one solution, and la 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 Anyway, today, since it's the first episode, I figured we'd do something a little bit special, which is why, please welcome our guest, Anthony Smith, from Freedom. Anthony, please, let's just dive right into it. What is it that you would like to talk about? The experience I want to talk to you about today is this. Um... Chasing views and how it can go horribly, horribly wrong for your channel. A lot of people talk about, you know, how awesome it is to uh, to follow trends and to um, to find the next big thing so that your channel can get found, but nobody ever talks about the downside. That's an interesting concept. I mean, we're used to being told to go out there and find and get on top of all of the trends that we possibly can. So could you provide us with an example of this? Sure. Um, one example is uh, on my gaming channel. Um, I got a hot tip about uh, 20 minutes before uh, something happened, and I made a video about the announcement of Finding Dory, uh, which is a video or which is a movie that's coming out, I believe, this year. I made the video in April of last year, and overnight. That video got 6,000 views, and another 3,000 views filtered in over the next day or so. That was a lot of views for my gaming channel, especially in such a small rush. Wait, that many views? That sounds great! How many subscribers did you get? According to my analytics, I got two subscribers from it, and I lost two subscribers, with a net gain of zero subscribers. Uh, and there are other examples of this very similar where I gained subscribers, but from what I can tell, it did absolutely nothing uh, but give me dead subscribers. Dead subscribers! Subscribers who don't actually watch your content and are just there and they just bloat the number. That is, that's not good. Chasing trends is a good thing. And it's something that you should do if it's something that you're interested in and your audience is interested in. As an example, if you're running a gaming channel, reporting about the newest news on Finding Dory, a kid's cartoon, probably not gonna be your best bet. So if you're go if you're if you get a piece of news ahead of time, if you find a trend that you would like to talk about, make sure it's audience appropriate and it fits your personality on your channel. Otherwise, um, you might end up doing yourself more bad than good. Well, that was incredibly informative. I hope the Freedom Family can learn from this. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Never be scared to throw something against the wall and see what sticks, but also be prepared to learn from that experience. Because when it comes to a YouTube channel, no matter how successful someone is, there is a lot of throwing things against the wall and seeing what sticks. Um, the thing about success is that you've been doing it long enough to know what your safe bets are and what ones are not so safe. Especially if you're first starting out, you know, don't be scared of, of doing that kind of thing. But also, you know, just learn to admit defeat, learn to move forward, and learn to learn from it. So, where can everyone find you, Anthony? I can always be found at least once a week here on Freedom Central. I can also be found at youtube.com slash Anthony Smith. That's where I do my vlogging and other miscellaneous derpery. Um, and there may be a chance that you can see me on youtube.com slash school coming up, along with uh, a couple other possibly familiar faces. Um, we don't have a timetable on that, and I hate to give people teasers, but I would definitely tell you that um, if you like my style of tips and the style of tips that were on in school before, you will really like what we got coming at you. Oh, can I do one thing real quick before we go? Uh, sure. Aragorn, from me and all of freedom, potato heart! Potato heart for you, Aragorn, for you. <laughs> As always, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have something to share with the Freedom community, why not apply down below? You might get interviewed. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time! Click the links if you want to see more from Freedom, and if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here. I 
honestly think Anthony has the best um in the world. Um. 